hello everybody so you know how you plan for your day and then you realize everything is going completely wrong that is what's happening to me today so i was going to do a full-on review of barack obama's apple pie recipe because a it looks delicious and b i have a ton of granny smith's apples in my fridge that i need to get rid of so <laughs> fast forward to now um it looks like my pie crust pan is missing my cake rounds also mia so i think i just left them in my old house and need to reorder some new ones which is totally fine um and then i go into my <laughs> pantry to look at all my ingredients and to make sure i'm good because i'm following this recipe i have it in the back of my laptop and turns out your girl doesn't have enough flour to make pie crust how is this possible <laughs> i know what i did like a couple weeks ago i usually do like a baking re-up and i'll just like put an amazon order for things that i'm running low on and for whatever reason i canceled my order and like a fool and now I want to make pie <laughs> and don't have enough flour. <laughs> have bread flour, but clearly that's not going to work for this. Anyways, it's fine. We're going to use what I'm working with. I have maybe a quarter and a cup of flour here. And I found three mini cake pens. So I think I'm going to make some mini pies. Um, do I like mini pies? Uh, yes and no so here's my uh, annoyance with them they're really small as you can see they're not that deep so when you make them you tend to get more um crust than filling so what i'm going to do to kind of modify it and make it how i like it plus i don't have that much dough so i don't know we'll see what i'm working with i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the pie filling fill the bottoms just with pie filling and then just do uh, a pie crust round and put it on top and then do it that way it should for the most part taste the same um obviously it's going to be smaller um not as thick and it probably will have a significantly less crust <laughs> um but everything else in the recipe should be the same um for the most part so i'm going to start working on my dough now because it needs at least an hour to rest so the dough um i'm gonna do a third of everything so the dough for right now i have a cup and a quarter um a flour so that should be about about uh Stick and a half of butter. Uh, I am gonna add some shortening just because I want the flake to be a little more flaky and I feel like shortening is a little bit more forgiving. Um, you have to add some salt, a few tablespoons of ice water, and then just roll that out, refrigerate it for an hour, and then you can come back and do the filling. So right now that's what I'm going to work on um so yeah let me just get started and i'll just speed through and you guys can just watch
Okay, I'm back now. So it's been a few hours. My dough um, was resting in the freezer. I actually pulled it out. Um, I meant to put it in the fridge for a little bit, but forgot about it. So now it's cooling a bit. Um, I'm not gonna rest it for too long. Like I don't want the dough to be room temperature. The purpose of having pie dough is you kind of want it cold. Um, that's gonna help the crust get flaky and it will help the shortening and the butter um, melt and make the crust a lot more flakier if your dough is cold. So I'm just leaving it out so that way it's easier for me to manage. But in the meantime, I'm going to start on my pie filling because your pie filling needs to cool a little bit <laughs> before you actually put it in the crust. So this is what I'm working with here. Um, I am doing a mixture of Granny Smith apples and Honeycrisp apples. Now, funny enough, Honeycrisp are my favorite apples, so you will find pounds on pounds of them in my fridge because they last a lot longer. Um, I usually eat tons of apples, but they're on the sweeter side, so when I'm dieting um i usually just eat a ton of apples with almond butter during the day so you'll always have apple crisps like a staple in my house um these granny apple ones are in my house to some extent because of a craving that i had that i just did not fulfill so i was watching this girl on youtube she's pregnant she had a craving for some caramel apples and i was watching the recipe and i was like oh my god that looks so good like drool coming down my face ordered the apples ordered all the ingredients and then they came and i was just like uh, <laughs> i'm not really craving this anymore <laughs> i'll just have my um honey crisp Nonetheless, the mixture of the both um, are going to pair really well for this recipe. So I'm doing four apples. I'm doing two of each since I'm doing three mini um, pies. This should be more than enough. Um, if I need an extra apple, I'll just throw in more. So a Granny Smith apple, then I will a Honeycrisp because Honeycrisp is um, sweet. That's why I don't really eat Granny Smith. They're a lot, um, they're with just more tart than honeycrisp apple like its name it's sweet um so i'm going to get to peeling these and chopping these up so i have a mandolin here fancy one <laughs> the only reason why i actually have it is because it was on sale on amazon prime um so i bought one for myself but most people don't so if you don't have one just a trick is to try to make your slices as um whatever the thickness you want your slices to be it's debatable how thick they should be um you just want them to be consistent um if you have thinner slices don't cook it on the oven too long if you have thicker slices obviously you have some leeway there um because think about it you have to cook it on the stove and then you have to put it in the oven afterwards um i will say that afterwards i'm just gonna follow the recipe so i'm just gonna cook it on the stove top um wait for the apples to render some apple juice i'm gonna do a slurry which is just cornstarch and water to help thicken the batter and then i'm going to add in my seasonings so I have sugar honey uh vanilla extract i'm going to switch it up and put a tiny bit of salt just because salt enhances the flavor of sweet things and then some um ground cinnamon I'm tempted to put in other seasonings, but <laughs> I'm trying my hardest to stick with the normal recipe and just try it from there. Um, I'm tempted to put in like a little bit of nutmeg or like just something else to like enhance the flavor, but I'm going to stick to the recipe for the most part and go from there. So I will stop talking and just speed it up and show you what I'm doing. Okay, pause. I just remember this. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice as I'm chopping my apples up. That's just because I don't want them to turn brown. So I'm just going to grab my lemon juice in a bowl. And as I'm chopping, I'm just going to pour in a little bit. Um, again, it's not really for the flavors. It's just to stop your apples from turning brown. So let me go do that now.
so my pie filling is currently on the oven oh my god it is probably one of the best pie fillings i've ever tasted <laughs> just a heads up even though it's a fairly simple recipe so right now um i pulled out my dough that has been chilling so because the pie filling is still cooking i'm gonna try to work fairly quickly because again the goal is to keep your pie crust as cold as it can be um i just got some cornstarch because again i ran out of flour rolling pan i just have a mat down so i'm going to quickly try to roll this out i think i actually have enough dough to do bottom and top layers so i think i'm gonna do that if i can roll it super super thin um that is the goal so let me do that and then i will come back to you or actually what i'll do before i come back to you i'm gonna roll it out i'll just cut it and i will do a pre-bake on the bottom um pie crust you can see the recipe yourself i'm just gonna put some aluminum foil over i might put a little bit of rice in the the tins just because the tins are so small to keep it weighed down and then once the pie filling is cool and I load the pie filling into the bottom layer of the dough, I will come back to you. I'm gonna play it by ear. We'll see what happens. Peace. <laughs> So, I started off doing this on a cutting board. I should have known better. Don't. Um, silicone mats are just a lot more forgiving, especially when you're trying to do a thin crust. Um, well, you saw me put on, I've been putting some cornstarch, but I don't want to do too much because I don't want to mess with the integrity of the crust. So, improvise. Also put some confectioner's sugar. That should just help because, again, we're just doing this for the purpose of this dough not sticking. So, I'm going to keep rolling it. Um, it is a little bit warm in here. So another pro tip is that like if it's just too warm, just put things in the fridge and let it cool down and come back to it. That's the best thing that you can do. So let me just try this again. I'm going to try to get um, six rounds, if I can, from this dough. So that way I can do a top and a bottom. So I'm doing three. So three times two is six. And then just go from there. Also, too, I just don't like a heavy crust and <laughs> not that much filling. So I know I have more than enough filling, so I'm going to try to get the crust to be like the right ratio. So let's hope I don't screw this up.
So now we are back and we have our cool pie bottom. So as you can see, the pie bottom's kind of strung a bit, but no worries. I have some extra pie crust, so I'm just going to repair to like bring the edges up a bit. I have my pie filling, so here I'll show you what it looks like. This is completely cooled. Whoops. And it has thickened because of the slurry. It has sugar, it has honey, vanilla, a bit of salt, and then just its own apple juice. And it tastes absolutely amazing. Um, after I repair whoop, my pie sides, I'm going to fill them up. Um, we'll put egg wash around the edges put um the tops on them i will add some vents into the tops and also do an egg wash add some sugar on top and then let them bake so that should be like the entire recipe hopefully i can come back today and let you guys know how they taste they smell amazing so we shall see and look i'm very impressed because you can see how flaky the bottom is so i'm excited It's a little after five and I officially spent all day making this pie. So I put the pie tops on. I closed them up like I said I was going to do. Egg wash, a little bit of sugar, 350 in the oven. It took about actually 25 minutes. I was kind of surprised. I thought the cook time would be less because um, a normal pie is 30 minutes but it took actually about 25 to 30 minutes for me to finish this but all in all this is the final outcome wow it looks delicious okay I'm going to take my first bite on camera and I'm going to finish this up this is going to be my dessert slash dinner it looks delicious it smelled amazing literally you could smell the sugar caramelizing in the oven while it was baking and i was just twiddling my thumbs on the couch like oh my god i cannot wait to dig into this um the edges of this crust look perfect so i'm kind of curious just to see how this tastes so here let me put my fork into it Ooh, it is flaky oh my god First thing you smell is <laughs> butter and straight up cinnamon. Let me put your fork into this. All right. Now let me just get a full bite onto this fork. Make sure I get some apple. Ooh, I hope you can see that steam. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna try this. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god, it's amazing. It is amazing. It's been a long time since I've made homemade pie crust and it makes the world of difference compared to frozen, surprisingly. <laughs> um, I have not ever had a pie crust this flaky. And the guy's recipe was so simple. I'm like very, very surprised.
I do think adding the Crisco made the dough a lot more forgiving. I do think the reason why it took me all day actually was really because of this crust. Um, because it's a fall day. It's not too hot, but the dough had a lot of butter and Crisco in it. That's what helped mix it flaky. But it kept melting. So if you have AC, obviously like make this, I'm warning you now, make this recipe with the AC on. But regardless, you're still going to have to put this in the refrigerator a lot because the heat from your hands will help melt the dough. But if you're willing to take the time to just be patient <laughs> and keep freezing and refrigerating this dough and these pies as you go along, it is so worth the wait. I can't believe it's so good. Like if I were to make this again, I would make the the dough and the filling the night before. Oh my god. Whew, it's still warm. But oh my god, this is amazing. Instead of it being flaky, it's also really refreshing with the fruit the filling is not too sweet like i feel like when you get a canned um fruit filling the filling is like a lot it's just a very thick syrupy consistency and it's extremely sweet and probably like a little over salted too this is like i'm like surprised that i made this i mean to be fair it's not my recipe but it is so good I cannot believe how good this is to be honest with you this is for sure a 10 out of 10 the only thing that can make this better and this would be perfect with um some ice cream on the side because this is like just sweet enough to like get your taste buds going and like satisfy the craving but it's not overly sweet so if you did want to have like a scoop of ice cream with this you wouldn't feel bad about eating it i feel like Oh my god. And that sugar on the top adds this extra crunch. I can't believe this pie is so good. Anyways, rock. 10 out of 10. This is an amazing <laughs> pie recipe. I see why you loved it. I'm about to go enjoy it in front of my television with some coffee and enjoy the rest of the afternoon i highly recommend you guys trying it i highly recommend taking the patience to like actually make your pie crust you see the thing is i keep trying like these very basic like baking things that i used to do store bought so, so all my donut doughs and my pie crust and just like regular um baking mixes but every single time i make it homemade I'm homemade i'm just like this is a one it tastes way better you can tell the difference so anyways if you have the full day and if you have the time especially if it's your first time making it and you are an amateur and i'm an amateur pies are not my thing um and i killed it and to be honest with you i don't think it's because i had that much skills i think this recipe is actually a one <laughs> so yeah Honestly, try it out, enjoy it, leave a comment if you do try it out and you like it yourself. Um, honestly, you can try the, the original recipe, but I think you can also like add your own little twist to it to like, you know, spice it up. Like I think this would be really good with some ginger on the inside. Um, again, like I said before, maybe a little cinnamon or not cinnamon, excuse me, some nutmeg or like clove or something else. But honestly, this recipe is perfect um, as is. But even if you want to do the same recipe, just replace the fruit. Add some fresh berries, some blackberries. I love blackberries. People don't really like it in pies, but blackberries or blueberry, raspberry, strawberry. This would be amazing pears. This would be really, really good. I highly recommend it. So with that, thank you for watching and enjoy. Bye guys.